Hello, everyone. Uh, we have a beautiful success story from Bhavana, who cleared PMP on a specific date. It is 25th of November, she cleared. So here we have her to talk about the success. Before going there, I just want to give a wishes to her. Congratulations, Bhavana, for your success. Thank you so much, sir. Great, great. We have to see the certificate, right? Without seeing that, doesn't make a... Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, here is the certificate. So how busy is your LinkedIn now? Oh, sir, definitely I have become too active on LinkedIn after PMP. <laughs> I mean, I have people, I have uh, friends from college, like long lost friends who are uh, pinging me like, please give us some career guidance. I'm like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> it's definitely a big achievement, I guess. I think about it. So you become a career guru now. <laughs> I know uh, this PMP one of the best certificate, you know, and like um, even though we do a lot of certificate, this certificate when you complete, uh, many unknown friends, new people, uh, some ask, can you give some tips about it? So it, it shows the uh, intensity of this exam. So you deserve its great success. I know you are a family person, you have a work around you. Yeah. So definitely want to know what time you wake up, what time you read. <laughs> so I don't have fixed hours as such, but then definitely I try to make the max out of my morning hours because that's the most productive hours for me. So I try to get up like 4.35 and then stretch up till 7. So that's oh. the most productive time I get for self-study. After that, I do a lot of reading, but then the maximum input which I get is in the morning hours. How many days or weeks you would have done like that, waking up early? Uh, like three months. Wow. Every day, 4.30? Yes, sir. So the, the day, next day of the exam, still you got 4.30? <laughs> I couldn't sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're talking about the next day of exam, right? So, okay, I have a long story behind this. Actually, I had planned for my exam on 3rd, uh, 3rd of December. But then uh, some family function came up and I had to prepone. So I had I had thought ki I'll uh, give it on 27th of November. Okay. Okay. So uh, uh, I had spoken to a number of people who had given this online proctored test. So they said ki slots are always available. So you don't need to worry. Mm -hmm. So I was like them relaxed. Ki I'll book one day in advance and I'll get the slot. Luckily, I sat down on 22nd or 23rd for booking my exam. Mm -hmm. And I was shocked. There were no slots. There were no slots on 27. There were no slots on 26. So mm -hmm. then it's like he man proposes, God disposes. Mm -hmm. I had to answer my exam right away the next day. Uh -huh. So I had like one day gap in between and I had to go for it. Oh, okay. That's what happened with me. So that's one tip. Like whoever wants to answer mm -hmm. an online proctor should book in advance. You should wait for the last minute. Right. That's well said. Uh, last minute is always a trouble. Yeah. Okay, that is neither did I get my preferable date, neither did I get a preferable time. I thought, yeah, I'll schedule it after my baby goes off to sleep. Uh -huh. So, he's very naughty, he won't allow me to study or answer an exam. So, I thought, yeah, I'll schedule it after 11 or something. Okay, but then I got a 8 30 slot and I had to answer. So, then the family comes in 8 30 p.m. Yes, sir. okay. So, your family backed you that uh, okay, you go for the exam, we'll take care. Yes. <clears throat> so credit goes to the family. Yes, yes, definitely. Fantastic. So what's the kid age? He's going to be two now. Ah, should be so vibrant. <laughs> He's too naughty. <laughs> Any kid are like that, right? And it's not easy to have them around when the exam is going on. Okay, yeah. I understand that. Uh, so 4.30 to 7.30 you read and then you have to do your office work. Yes. Pretty good, pretty good, isn't it? Office work, homework, work from <laughs> home, work at home, everything. See, being a mom is something like being a portfolio manager already. Yeah, exactly, sir. Right, and uh, having um, um, what to say that office work, other things, already program management is happening. Yes. Sir. Portfolio program. Below that, you have a project called PMP. So it's not a big deal for you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's good. So what is your nature of work? What do you do? Uh, so basically, I'm from a construction background. So I have like nine plus years of experience, specifically in the construction industry. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I've gone through a number of roles as a construction manager, as a estimation manager, as a contracts manager. Mm-hmm. So I have a very diversified diversified profile. Got so you. to put them all together, I plan to go for a PMP and become a project manager. Mm-hmm. How do you say this will help in your day to day life? So I am able to relate to things more easily now. As in, I was all I was already doing that stuff, but then after going through the PM box and everything, I'm able to relate to it very much. So mm-hmm. that's given me an edge. Mm. So you you speak the language from the book now. Okay. I don't know. I saw a number of success stories, and everyone was like head first, Rita, and everything. But then somehow I found PM box easy. I don't know why. <laughs> Yeah. I could relate to it easily. because better. maybe you are already working on that the language. Yeah. And the yeah, yeah. Do you see PMP in your corporate? People are having that already. Yes, definitely. Ah, in fact, I was inspired by a colleague of mine who is also a, a alumnus of Sri Learning, Balram Kundu. Oh, okay. So after he cleared that exam, so I took tips from him, and I was inspired wow. too much. Wow. So I went on with so it. we have a family here <laughs> people coming around with pmp that's nice that's nice good so um good good to know that you're in construction and you learn pmp all fine so pembok you read and uh, yes, where you uh, where you felt that you are comfortable in the sense okay i'm ready for the exam what time you started feeling it uh so after so i started with prep class so like after the after three four exams i was pretty much comfortable as in i knew exactly where i was going wrong oh. so after the fourth one i think i spoke to you and you said ki you should go on with the sixth and the seventh one they are the toughest so when i went on with the sixth and the seventh uh, my scores were reasonably good so i was like okay i'll manage but somehow i knew i would pass but i wanted 580s so <laughs> Pauna, <laughs> people are if people listening to this video now will really chase you. Hey, <laughs> you are looking just to pass, and you are looking for eighty. <laughs> I always knew I would pass. I never thought I would fail or something. I, know, then... I saw your scores; it was always really good. Two things are there. One is the field where you work. Other one is uh, the way somebody read the book; they understand the concept very well. So, which month you were in our classes? August sir. August so August September October November uh, primarily in September you started reading i believe yes sir so by September did good yeah i think this covid helped you a little bit yes sir definitely i got a lot of time uh, imagine other working days are not similar to this yes sir okay travel is i mean i'm in a small city so travel is not much of a problem but then i have to work hard to get things together so i hardly get time but then covid thanks to covid right <laughs> yeah really thanks to that i got some family time as well as me time as well as study time everything i could manage perfect indian economy is going to boost okay so which city you are now i'm in jamshedpur sir jamshedpur okay even today i have to travel somewhere in bangalore usually bangalore uh, evening hours you can't take your car out even if you go yeah. out you won't come in the time what you want Today went yes, for something sir. I did within thirty forty minutes. I came back easily. I didn't feel <laughs> I am in Bangalore, so I felt man, please everybody stay home. <laughs> Once in a while, come out. <laughs> okay, yes, that is good about it. And uh, <clears throat> key factors. Let's go to the exam day. So is it yes, a center based or online exam? So I took an online exam. As I said, I am in Jamshedpur. There is no center here. No center there. So yes, let's sir. let's talk the previous previous day of the exam. So what? what was the time you cut off to stop your reading <laughs> so you won't believe the day of the exam i'll tell you about the day of the exam i had my exam 8:30 onwards so i thought ki i'll uh, brush up in the morning pro full day i had for brushing up and to go through my uh, prep cast questions i had taken pictures of the prep cast questions where i was majorly going wrong so i ha- i still have those pictures in my mobile and i used to flip through that Mm-hmm. like we flip through insta and fb so i had done that i'd taken the pictures and kept it in my gallery mm-hmm. so after that after doing everything i still had 2 3 hours left so i went in for a movie i watched one full movie and then i went in for the exam so <laughs> what movie is that by the time huh? some random netflix movie i just pulled on i watched the entire movie and i went for the exam people are going to chase you bana huh? before the exam you're watching movie huh? so that was my stress buster i suppose <laughs> God, that's really heavy, yeah. <laughs> okay. Actually, I'll just uh, tell you that I have a habit of writing and studying. 
so uh, when i write and study automatically that thing gets into my mind so i don't have to work much hard as in for revision and everything so Copy. automatically that made things easier for me perfect perfect really impressive okay that's interesting to hear that stuff uh, movie and then exam <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> how the proctor exam started the sense of verification validation yes that was quite smooth uh, i had a power backup as well as an internet backup as well as well as a laptop backup just in okay. case things mess okay. up okay so that was easy for me that was not much of a problem and uh, in the beginning she asked me to give me a, a 360 degree view of the room so i did that and not much uh, then she started off with the test and then uh, after the 90th question i took a break of 10 minutes mm -hmm. i just went on out for a drink and something i came back inside and the proctor had changed so he just asked me to yeah earlier there was a lady who was my proctor and then the proctor changed it was some guy so he asked me to show me the room once again the table where i was sitting mm -hmm. and then again i started off with my test so there were no hiccups in between as such that's really it good. Went on very smooth. So two people are coming in. Mm. Yes, sir. That's a news. Okay. Now let's go to the exam. First, twenty-five questions. How do you felt? I'd already discussed with a number of colleagues, and they said that PMP is more of a. I mean, they'll uh, give you tough questions in the starting and just test how you manage things. So uh, I went on out with that mindset, but then it wasn't like that. It was pretty easy. I mean, two three line questions. It'll be same standard all over the exam. Yeah. So it was easy. I mean, I can compare it to the prep cast test number three, four. My level oh, was something okay. like that. Oh. Not very tough, not very easy, manageable. You prepared well for you looks easy. <laughs> Might be. <laughs> yeah. There are people who are crying, man, I can't write this exam. <laughs> okay. So I think my batch particularly was very helpful as in, I still remember Ashraf sir's podcast and yeah, everything no, so that was that. pretty helpful yeah that batch is a really good batch a lot of people clear exam <laughs> okay, that's good pretty good fantastic and which area you found a lot of questions coming for you so change management integration and risk uh, and in integration change was an important part mm -hmm. i think variety of questions comes in change management mm -hmm. okay that is pretty interesting okay mathematics how it was numbers uh, direct questions, nothing tough as such. Direct uh, mm -hmm. formula based questions. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. So, what time you complete the exam in four hours? I had uh, half an hour left after all questions. Okay. So, I went through my part two again. Uh, so, you evaluated again, I mean, uh, reviewed it. Yeah, the second part, 91st question onwards. First okay. part, we're not supposed to review you after can't if you're taking there. a break. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, then. I you did that. Uh, so you had extra time when you submit the button? No, I I had, but then I didn't want to give up so easily. I still went on and on and on. I made the most of the time given to me. So, so you automatically that's... went off. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what were the first screen comes out after the all 200 questions? Okay, I had seen a number of stories and they all had said some congratulations. So the picture was in my mind, some big congratulations, some balloon, this, that, something. I like, nothing's balloon. coming. <laughs> then I saw a small two lines written congratulations. I read it once again. I'm like, what are they saying? And then I like, okay, fine, I have passed. And then uh, there was a survey. Maybe font size eight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what. <laughs> font size eight, one line, congratulations. Oh, man. For five hundred dollars, can you put <laughs> font size and say congratulations? Yeah. <laughs> and then the entire night, I was worried whether I've got five eighties or not. So how much the result came up? I got above target in four areas. Uh, as usual in my prep cast, also there were two most e the easiest areas were initiation and closing, and there was where I was goofing up. I don't know why. And that all that the same thing happened in my final exam also initiation. I probably so, did you felt bad? Oh my god, I missed OD. Very bad. Okay, you very want, bad. Do you want to do the exam again once more time? If given a chance, yes. Oh, 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 <laughs> I want the five eighty. Want five eighty? Right? <laughs> okay, I can I can sense how you would have been in school and college sitting in the first bench. 
<laughs> that's what my husband was saying ki we used to pass and we used to get excited and you people get in 95 like why do you want 100 <laughs> is coming from the last batch for us first of all see in school days i'll put a red line if you fail a green line yeah fail. for me and all seeing the green line is seeing like a heaven <laughs> see the green line at all always red line for you it is about all anyway that's a good thought actually you should do that i'm appreciating it so about target does not reflect or show that in your certificate for people watching yes. this video you should not that about target is an indication that you have done a good job it's a self satisfaction yes sir you go home i feel self satisfied she got a four about target is not easy getting one about target is not tough she got four means uh, the tough one but there are people who get five also and uh, that depends on that day that time you know which question yeah, all your stars have to be aligned <laughs> exactly exactly i have seen many people got a five about target some got one about target and uh, one or two about target some area aligned badly they lose the exam that also happened so it's a kind of mix we don't know as you say this star aligned right? <laughs> that day should be your day if not exactly okay fantastic this is the first time i'm hearing somebody watch the movie and then go to the exam so 8:30 is your exam till what time are you watching movie i saw the movie i was having dinner i was watching movie everything i think i started at 6 o'clock 6 to 8 i watched the movie i had my dinner and coolly i went inside the room <laughs> much of relaxation i have not seen <laughs> i told you sir i was confident i'll pass i knew that that's fine but still movie is yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. anyway you did the job so i think the comment there did a good job i know i keep telling people uh, the day before the examination sleep well the day of the exam eat well and take a walk at least half an hour somewhere take a fresh air be comfortable have chat with the family and come and sit relax more if you sit in a nervous mode first 25 30 questions you do a lot of mistakes you mess it up exactly it's a normal question only since is the first few questions you want to be very careful to answer properly in the name of careful what you will do we will do more mistakes i have seen exactly. many people in the name of carefully locking the door they will not lock the door properly <laughs> some people so it's something too much of carefulness sometimes you lose the track so when your mind is composed you do a good job so thanks bhavana for the real good tips what you said so if you want to say something for the people who are struggling to improve the score what you will tell just trust your instinct trust your hard work and go in for it yeah there is no magic here right it exactly is, yeah it's just hard work and your concepts have to be clear and you will clear it exactly exactly what was your first uh, full exam score you remember it uh, i think i got a 72 okay then first prep class yeah because many are struggling with the score of uh, 64 66 that's an average score many people struck there uh, that extra 6% are not happening 6% is around 12 questions uh, mm. hitting hard it's stuck there so what you're saying is right believe on an instinct and uh, evaluate the questions carefully that's exactly it. that was the most important part we have to evaluate where we are going wrong yeah if we thought that definitely doing is not going to be fast very good great good super now did you announce this uh, success at the office Yes sir definitely. <laughs> so uh, what was their feedback in your office? They were like how did you manage <laughs> with office work home work study how did you manage I'm like superb you have to manage. <laughs> so this is the this is one thing I told my husband this is one thing I want to do for myself I mean the career thing and everything is a different story but then I want to do it for myself and I think that is what pushed me for it and I made it inspirational great superb Thanks Bhavana really good inputs from you so happy to hear you and uh, thanks for coming i know it's pretty late in the evening hours thanks for coming up here and let this inputs help some more people who are preparing for the exams and motivate and uh, also watch the movie and relax yourself uh, those are good uh, sometimes i used to do when it is high pressure i used to watch mr bean uh, i know i'm not a uh, stuff yeah sorry you want to say something 
no sir i just want to take this opportunity to thank you and rahul specially yeah <laughs> i mean i have irritated him a lot so then thanks a lot rahul thank you sir definitely this wouldn't have been possible without the support of both of you thank you, thank you. i know see it's not a irritation it's about all uh, request right see when you want something when you know somebody can answer it definitely will go back and ask them. Um, it's not only you um, on a daily basis we have a lot of students but as sometimes the same question get repeated also yeah but we know the pain who else will go and ask right so uh, if there is an opportunity we are trying to help as much possible that's all we are doing first of all we have to thank you for trusting us right when thank you so ask, much we ask a question you will answer back that kind of trust is there so <laughs> That's the day for us. Okay, give credit to your family and yes, uh, they are the support for you for you are what you are today, right? And yes, sir. Keep rocking more. One thing I will request is implement what you learn. Yes, it's very important. Let the certificate does not sleep inside your file. You should start exploring your leadership path. You should utilize whatever you learned here. Can I utilize overnight? I will say no. It's a gradual process. It will take a year of time to first of all you have to digest it, and then start implementing. So kind request, please start implementing it in your life. Sure, you'll grow up higher. Right? Yes. Well, sir. Thanks a lot. Have a great time. Thanks for coming up here. Thank you, sir.